Many of you ask me how to stretch after a volleyball practice or match. In today's video I'll show you the exercises you should do after practice. And stretch that is not difficult and uh, I call it lazy stretching. I also tell you the reasons why you should actually stretch after a match. The difference between dynamic and static stretching and uh, what muscles volleyball players put the most stress on. Let's get to it. Volleyball is a demanding sport for our bodies. Uh, we do a lot of fast movements, so we hit the ball hard, we are constantly jumping and landing. Our body, muscles, tendons and joints are under a lot of stress. That's why it's essential for volleyball players to do stretching. Because uh, stretching maintains muscle and tendon flexibility, improves joint mobility and flexibility of the whole body, acts as a preventative measure against muscle and joint injuries, such as muscle tendon and muscle tendon tears, prevents muscle imbalances, reduces body tension and relaxes the whole body, increases resistance to fatigue. That's why every volleyball player, professional or amateur, should regularly stretch not only after practice and games, but also before training. Before training, it's better to focus on dynamic stretching, where we stretch each muscle group during movements and dynamic exercises. For example, you can try my 5-minute dynamic stretching routine. The link to the video pops up now in the top right. Static stretching is preferable to dynamic stretching after a practice or a game. Static stretching is usually done over a longer period of a time. When we had the famous coach Julio Velasco on the national team, we used to do stretching for sometimes 45 minutes. Also, when I played in Italy, after a match we would lie on the ground and devote ourselves to stretching for at least 20 minutes. Yes, for some it may seem like a waste of time, but believe not only me, by stretching you will significantly reduce the possibility of muscle injury and also relax the muscles that have taken a beating in the match. Volleyball is not an endurance and conditioning intensive sport like football and longer runs in athletics. You don't have to be physically fit to climb Mount Everest. On the other hand, volleyball involves the whole body, all the muscles. It follows then that volleyball players have problems, uh, pain and injuries all over their bodies. Someone's uh, shoulder hurts, uh, another player will complain of back pain. Often our knees or ankles hurt too. And almost every volleyball player will also encounter muscle problems during their career, where we pull a muscle in our thigh or have a blocked neck, for example. That's why we need to focus on almost the whole body when preventing and stretching. Imagine a football player running and kicking the ball. His legs has to keep running for 90 minutes. He doesn't use his arms except uh, to throw in a ball. A volleyball player, on the other hand, uh, jumps all game, makes uh, quick moves in the court and on top of that uh, his shoulders have to withstand sometimes more than uh, 50 attacks per game. Simply in volleyball we need to focus on stretching the whole body. Before I get into the actual exercises, I recommend uh, doing uh, after practice or a match. I want to mention and form of this exercise, I call it uh, lazy stretching. Since we play volleyball mostly indoors, uh, where it's warm and the floor is clean, we can do the entire stretch in the same place, sitting or lying on the floor. We don't have to walk anywhere, we don't have to stand up. Uh, we can just uh, drop to the floor and literally roll on the floor for 15 or 20 minutes. That's why I call this stretching that uh, we do exclusively on the ground, lazy stretching. It costs uh, us almost no energy. But now let's get to the actual exercises I recommend you to do after your volleyball practice or game. First of all, I would like to mention that uh, it is important to stretch the big muscle groups on the whole body during post-match or post-practice stretching. These are the ones uh, that are most stressed in volleyball. Therefore, always take the time to stretch your back, uh, legs and shoulders as a minimum. The following exercises are all performed on the ground in one spot in a static position. You can do them in the sequence I'm demonstrating or you can combine them at your own discretion. Personally, I always start by stretching my back. These are the most important for me. I lie on the ground, I bend my legs to a right angle and place them to the side. Head should be turned to the other side, arms spread. I stay in this position for about 20 seconds when I try to breathe deeply. Then I put my legs on the other side. Thank you. 
Legs behind the head is the second exercise. I bend my legs uh, at the knees and put them behind my head, toes touching the ground. I breathe deeply again and stay in this position for 30 seconds. The third exercise that targets uh, the big muscle is focused on the quadriceps. I sit on the floor with one leg extended out in front of me and the other leg bent and placed almost under my butt. I lean back uh, into the position so that I can feel the tension in the quadriceps. It should be a reasonable tension. Again, I stay in this position for 20 seconds. Then I switch legs and I do the same exercise. I stretch the butt muscles in this exercise. I sit on the floor, one leg bent uh, and the other leg resting on it, with the ankle of one leg uh, touching the knee of the other leg. Depending on how stretched I am, I adjust uh, the angle of my legs. Again, you should feel the tension in your butt muscles, in your glutes. Once I have done 20 seconds, I switch legs. Static lunge uh, with the knees on the ground is the next exercise. Those who have knee problems or knee pain can do this exercise in knee pads or put the knee pads under their knee. Putting the front leg forward, we are in the lunge position. Our goal is to move the center of our body forward and stretch the legs and abductor muscles. We are lying on our stomach. We put one arm underneath us. It should be at right angle to the body and we slowly lie down on the arm. This exercise is the ultimate uh, laziest exercise for me, when you may even fall asleep in this position. However, it is an excellent exercise to stretch the shoulders. Now spread your legs apart, lean forward and grab the toe of your foot. This will stretch the back of your tights and also the groin. After 20 seconds switch to the other leg. Sitting on your heel alone is an excellent exercise to relax your ankles and shin muscles. I also incorporate this exercise into my stretching regularly. Stretch the hips, lower back and glutes by lying on your back with your knees bent and one leg pushing the other leg uh, to the ground. Lying on our back, we lift one leg, grab it and pull it towards our body. We should get the leg in this position at a 90 degree angle to the body. After 20 seconds, switch legs.
An excellent exercise for stretching the pectoral muscles and shoulders is this exercise. Lying on the stomach, uh, putting the arm at right angle to the body and gently rolling over it to a position where we feel pressure but not pain in the shoulder. Repeat the exercise on the other arm after 20 seconds. We are on our knees, one leg extended forward and we bend towards it stretching the back uh, of the tights. After 20 seconds, put the same leg alongside the body. The leg is uh, stretched again and we lean forward slightly. This exercise is an excellent way to stretch the abductors. Then move to the other leg. We are on our knees. Uh, we stretch the body forward, arms extended as far as possible and stretch the back. Those who can do it uh, can do the same in a seated position on their heels. Finally, stretch your triceps. Sitting on the floor, put one hand behind your head. Bend it and with the other hand push it down slightly and towards your head. That's it. Uh, this approximately 10 minute uh, lazy stretch performed in just one spot on the ground should help you stretch after the game or practice. Of course, I'm not claiming that uh, this is the best or most uh, comprehensive uh, stretch for volleyball players. But most of these exercises are long proven and uh, you'll see plenty of uh, professional players doing them after a match or practice. So give them a try too. I believe they will help you to become a better player. I'll see you in the next video, bye!